What's up, everybody? My name is Thomas Duffy, and today we're going to be talking about how to reorder items within a CSS grid. This feature can make those tricky responsive layouts that switch the order of the divs for mobile and desktop views actually pretty trivial and easy. So prior to CSS grid, building responsive layouts that didn't respect the natural flow of the DOM was actually pretty tricky. What I mean by this is having items render in a different order than what's in your markup. So today, we're going to talk about the different ways to reorder these elements within a CSS grid. All right, so on the left, we have some basic markup that has a grid container wrapping five items. I've given the items some color and labels so that we can identify the current order of those items. So if we look at the computed styles of one of these CSS grid items, you'll notice that the defaulted value of the order property is zero. So let's play with this. Let's start off by giving the third item in the list an order value of one and see what that does. So notice that it actually drops the item to the bottom of the list. And that's because the rest of the items have a lesser value than the number one we gave item three. So if our intent was to move item three to the top of the list, the simplest way to do this would be to give it a negative value. So let's try that out. So we can give that a refresh and voila, we have item three in the number one position. So let's play with this a little more. Let's just say we wanted to move items one, three, and five to the bottom of the list below item two and four. And there we go. So again, items two and four don't have explicit values set for the order property, so they're defaulting to zero. And items one, three, and five, we have set orders explicitly. So you'll see those in the appropriate orders at the bottom of the list. So another way to order grid items is by simply using the grid row property. Let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and give the third item a grid row of one, and then give that a refresh. And now you can see the item three is now in position one. So now let's go ahead and give the fifth item a grid row value of three. And there you go. Now you see the fifth item in the position three. So it's important to make note that if you assign two of the same grid items to the same grid row, the grid will automatically add an additional column so that they both can be on the same row. Okay, now the last thing to make note of is that both of these ordering techniques do not change the actual order of the elements in the DOM. It's just the rendering portion. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments and questions below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some more awesome front-end web development tutorials. See you soon.